Greetings, crew. I know I have not given you time to respond since the last video. Um, that video cut more because of time uh, than because I necessarily needed input. It, it would have been great to get some input. There's really not a lot of time for that because I'm going to be going on vacation soon. And I'd really like to get this scenario done before I depart so you can discuss what's next. Um, so you guys can have some time to discuss while I'm gone. Um, behind my back without me butting in, answering questions, clarifying. So often you can really just have a good discussion about what's coming next. So without further ado, we're going to get back to it. Last time when we left off, for those of you who don't recall, um, the crew uh, has uh, programmed the hyperdrive one-third of the way, Okay, getting away from the, the planet. The planet's shooting at them, though, uh, more and more frequently, and another bot ship just warped in. Let's go there. First phase of round five is complete, and here's what went down. So first, um, Snugbug, he, he attempted to get the ship back in control. If you recall, last time it got really shaky, and um, he was able to do it partially. Uh, actually, the crossing guard lady, thinking that um, if there was no power to the helm, it wouldn't be able to be messed around. She tried to transfer it over to guns. That was not successful, however, which is too bad. Um, Capazoid did some some preparing. Uh, Merker ran over here, and he's shooting a missile off at this this bot ship here. The bot ship is yet to act. I haven't haven't uh, done what the enemies are going to do yet. And we have another programming chip on here. So three more to go, and then we can try to jump out of here, guys. Blast from the planets going right up the middle here. Could be bad. We really don't want the hyperdrive to be broken. But if any of these dice, well, if more than, I have to set this down, there's so many dice. If more than um, six of these dice are over three, then the hyperdrive will be out of commission. And I, I would have to then look up uh, whether or not that would make it so the programming was all gone. That might very well be the case. All right, and let's take a look here. So we can take the highest six off because the shields are so buffed up, which is nice. Um, we'll take one, two. Looks like we're gonna be okay. Um, but the people within are gonna be getting damaged there. And yeah, not even that much hull damage. All integrity check here. We are looking for a five or higher, which shouldn't be too hard. We got a four. Okay, we do have hull stabilizers, so we get one reroll. Um, I haven't talked about the cargo bay. The cargo bay has uh, a few items in it. Um, one is a hull stabilizer. I don't remember. It also has a tractor beam. I think the third one is a battery, and that can be changed out. So if you're interested in changing out what's in the cargo bay, let me know, and I can let you know what some options are. All right, so we can reroll one of these. We'll reroll the one. Basically, we need anything other than a one. And if we don't get that, then we're going to have to start spending luck, basically. All right, so we're okay. Hull stabilized. Capazoids damage here. No, 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 no. Corpulent run. I'm sorry. One damage. That's not bad. She's not going to re-roll that. And then we'll go Lieutenant Merker, Junior Lieutenant Merker. Five. I think he'll take the three. He's fixed himself up, so might as well. All right, the phase is over. Way out of control again. Uh, what did what else went down? So, the the enemy bots they also shot a missile. So that's going to move now. First, that's going to stay there. One, two, All right, people, one, two, like that. We're going to be moving two just in front of those missiles. Normally, you're supposed to move ships first, then missiles, but I'm just kind of doing it all together. Oh, actually, it should be moving with us because we're kind of going in the same direction. And then these are right behind. So the crew is heading towards this ship. The ship's facing the other way. Um, and that's just how it warped in. So you don't know if that that is um, how it already was, or that's how it wants to be, or that's just how it is, and I can't do anything about it. Missiles coming behind it. Missiles coming towards it. Crystal planet over here shooting lasers at you. Um, Way out of control. Episode successfully ECM'd one of the missiles just in time. Uh, next next round or next phase, the, the ship's only going to be moving one space instead of two because of its current speed of eight. Um, so that means that this missile is going to be hitting it. Both would be hitting it otherwise. So yeah, maybe it would have been smarter. I, I think maybe this one this way would have been smarter. One two. So that's going to give it make it even further back. All right. So did that. Um, 
what else? Successfully transferred power out of the helm. So hopefully the ship won't get all messed up this time. Um, control only went down to two out of control. That made it hard for a lot of these long shot maneuvers. Um, Melky might have, or Junior Lieutenant Merker might have tried to use the cannon if not for that. Um, Corporal Loran also held off on, on trying to program the hyperdrive. That that two penalty really makes it difficult. And that reminds me, you can only go there. This missile is caught up to the ship, so now we got to roll to see if it hits. Um, basically, we're rolling against the speed there of eight, and that's a six. That's a fail. So this missile is going to go into the chasing missiles box, and that is right there. That means is every turn we're going to have to roll uh, to see if that missile hits us. Phase ended and things are looking pretty good for us. We're, we're just about to start phase four. Um, so what happened? Shot a couple more missiles, or shot a, another missile from, from here. Capazoid did that. Um, so no more shooting missiles this round. Uh, missiles are different from some of the other things that require acquire use markers. Once they're used, they can't be used again until the round's over and all the use markers get cleared off. Um, Milky is still preparing to fire the cannon. It's a, a shot of 15 right now to, to hit the enemy ship, and that's that's kind of difficult. So he's going to hold off. Um, the ship did increase speed. It's up to 9 now. And meanwhile, um, X-Ray, the crossing guard lady, is still doing her tug of war with the... Um, I forgot to adjust it. With the ghost, which keeps moving from shields to helm. She has, Remember, she doesn't want power in the helm because then the ghost uses that power against the ship. Um, so what did the ghost do? Oh yeah, yeah, that's why I moved it back. I, was, I, I, finished, I finished the whole phase and I forgot the ghost moved it back again. Um, so that's what the ghost did. Uh, the, the, the planet has been missing, which is pretty good for everyone. That's very lucky. It's been missing its shots because um, you really don't want to lose Capazoid. Seven is the most likely roll, but there hasn't been too many sevens. And sevens hits Capazoid and Milky. Um, the, uh, the opposing ship hasn't shot yet other than this one missile. It did manage to steer itself more though, so it's starting to, to turn towards the Buckland Wren. So some bad news. X-Ray, the crossing guard lady, failed yet again to uh, move the shield, the shield power back from the helm power. Uh, that's the second time she's done that, and that's that's not a very tough roll to make. She just has to get an eight or better. Um, so basically, I mean, she needs to get a five or better, which isn't very hard. But she she's failed twice, even with her one professional reroll she gets. Um, so Snugbug did something called an Overwatch, and what an Overwatch is is he planned an action for after some some given instance. So he's planning on the ship going out of control, and as soon as he it does, he plans on then bringing it back into control again. So that's what he's doing. Let's see if the ship goes out of control or not. That's four plus three is seven. Minus 15 is eight. So yep, it's gonna go out of control here. It's gonna take two hull damage, which means we're gonna have to roll for hull damage. Um, we're at 59 now. So we're still just to have to get a five or higher. And that was no problem. And let's see if Ensign Snugbug can bring things back into control. So you got 6 plus 4 is 10. That's not enough. He's going to reroll this one. That's 10 plus 4 is 14 minus 8 is 6. And that's exactly what we need to bring it all down to 0. Overwatch. We have two missiles coming at us so far. We've been lucky. We haven't been hit by any. Um, and the, the crystal planet keeps missing us. Let's see if... These two missiles will miss as well. That one looks like it's going to hit, so we'll have to deal with that in a... No, no, it's going to miss because our speed is 9 now. We have to get 9 or better. That one missed. Let's see if this next one missed as well. It did. Very good. All right, Melky is about to fire on the bot ship. He is going to get a total bonus of 6, I think, because he gets 5 for himself. And Capazoid's remotely assisting from over there, and she success she was successful in that. So she he needs to get a seven or better, which shouldn't be too hard. That's not a seven or better. He gets to reroll one of these. If he if it's a six, he won't have to use any luck. It's a three. He's going to use some luck. Just looking for a, there we go. All right, so that's going to be a hit. On that, we gotta take the luck off and I'll figure out damage. I gotta roll three times for missiles. It's the start of phase six of turn five here. 
There's now three missiles on our tail. That's one that might hit. Two. No. No, just one that might hit. And one. And Snugbug was able to dodge it. Great job, Snugbug. So the bot ship just shot its cannons and hit the Publuckland Wren right across here, uh, which is engines and life support. We'll see what we get. Alright, so we get to take away five of these dice. And so that's not so bad. Uh, for five. Yeah, so it's just something like this. Actually, I think that counts that space there. That's enough to complicate things, however. That's going to put down X-Ray, the crossing guard lady. She is, um, remember, she was at one hit point, so that the damage she took from, from the engine room getting her uh, hit with that cannon blast was enough to put her out of commission. That could be a lot of trouble because there's going to be no one fighting the ghost's hand uh, when it comes to moving the energy up and down. And we're starting round six. Things could be bad because our engineer is gone and there is a ghost that is messing with the engines. It couldn't be, it might not be that bad though because we're close to programming the hyperdrive. And if we get that all programmed, we can get a uh, going. All right, so let's um, move on. Great luck with this roll for our heroes. The bot ship, it pumped up its its guns up to six and then took a big shot at um, the Pull Buckland Red. Not a hard, super hard shot. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, 14 was the number it had to get. Um, did not get it with a six. I mean, there were modifiers in there too. It did manage to dodge the missiles that were coming at it. They had overwatched an ECM and ECM'd one of them, and the other one the pilot managed to dodge. Uh, we're gonna go into the next phase. Got lucky too also with the, the crystal planets blast. It hit this engine, which has hurt the hull. I realize, um, those of you who know the game, I'd been tallying damage wrong. Um, you sh the hull should be a lot more damaged than it is. I think you would have survived anyway. Um, but so, so now it's going to be going into the next round. And if nothing bad happens with the missiles, uh, it shouldn't be super hard to get the hyperdrive going. It's all programmed up. So let's just let me just resolve that. Bad news: one of the missiles that were tailing us hit, and it would hit right here. I think that you can use luck to change the hit allocation roll, which is a seven here. Um, I'm not positive on that. I couldn't find a definite, a definitive answer in the book, um, but I feel like you can use luck on pretty much everything in this game. Like a lot of the game, luck is kind of like the, the limited resource that you have that can just kind of control anything. Um, and really, if you're going to go down, your luck's going to be gone first, typically. That's just a guess. I don't know. I could be making a big mistake here, but you get a five instead. That would be seven. So we'll, we'll let that engine get hit. Okay, so this engine is out of commission, which isn't so great. Um, what's also not so great is there is going to be some spillover damage onto this engine here. So we're going to roll a die for um, X-Ray the Crossing Guard Lady, and I'm afraid if it is, I think she's at negative four right now. If it's two or higher, she's dead. It's a one. She made it. Good job. Merker's trying to help the jump out roll. Here we go. Make it a seven or better. And he did it. So he's helping. That's going to give her a plus one to her roll. And she needs to get, what, in... 11 or better, and she's going to be adding 3 to the roll, so need to roll another 7 or better. And then we get out of here. Ah! That's bad. So she's going to luck, or not luck this one. She's a scientist, so she'll use that. There we go. There's a 7, and we have made it out. Shh.